Welcome to another lesson on the Nux series. Today we are going to connect to a GraphQL API. We are going to use this Ricky Morty API uh, to connect to. We are going to connect to this API using the Apollo module in Nux.js. This Apollo module in Nux.js uses View Apollo, which uses the Apollo client. Okay, so we have Apple Client and Vue has done an integration of the Apple Client to Vue. And this Nuxt Apple module uses this Vue Apple. Okay, so to get started, we need to install a few things. You need to install, let me see my package JSON. You need to install the Nuxt.js Apple, Apple module and GraphQL tag. So GraphQL tag allows you to write template literals as our GraphQL queries. Um, and the Nuxt.js mod, uh, Apollo module has all the Apollo client. So we, we need to configure this Apple client. So let's go to Nuxt.js and first import our newly installed uh, Apollo module. Okay, we have configured that. Next, we need Apollo configurations. So we have client configs, default, and only one prop key that we need to provide that is the HTTP endpoint. So our HTTP endpoint is going to be our uh, Ricky and Morty GraphQL API. So let's copy this and paste it here okay so we have configured it now let's write some queries first let's do it through this playground uh, uh, and then do it on our Nuxt.js project um, so in this playground you can see the queries that are possible in this api so we have this character query characters query which returns as a list of characters Okay, so let's get started. Let's do a query and we can give each query a name. So let's do get characters and curly brackets. Then we need it autocomplete. So we are going to use the characters query. And within that characters query, we have two things. We have the info and the results. So let's get the results. And within results, we have an array of character. So what is included in this character is ID, name, status. So let's get the ID, name, and status. Okay, let's close this off and let's run this query. There you are. We get the ID, name, and the status. The one fantastic thing about GraphQL is that we can only ask for the data that we want. So we don't do overfetching or underfetching. If you only need the ID and the name, then you get only ID and the name. Okay, so we did it on the GraphQL playground. Now let's do it in our Nuxt.js project. All right, I'm going to npm run dev. Why is there a problem? Ah, I forget the comma. Let's run it again. Next, sorry, npm run dev. Default must define HTTP endpoint. Oh, spelling mistake. Damn it. Okay, localhost 3000. Okay, we have that. Now let's go to our index and write our first query. I'm going to close this off. And first thing to write our queries, we need GQL, which we installed. So GQL from GraphQL tag. And uh, the, so view Apollo provides this Apollo key and within that you can write your queries um, So the first thing we need to do is we are going to get characters So let's add that key 
and we can start off the GQL tag and start our template treasures. Okay. So we are going to write a query and let's say the name of that is get characters. Okay. Let's move it down here. And what so what do we get within get characters? We need to query characters. And within characters we have results. And within results, we want to get the ID and the name. Okay. All right, we are done. Let's see whether this is working. Let's refresh. And let's go to our view developer tools. Yes, we get characters results. So view Apollo actually binds these values, these characters to our data uh, method. So this uh, becomes available in our templates as uh, this to a full loop v4 character in characters. So this becomes available. Okay, so we do results because we have results. Let's do a key character dot ID and let's do the character name. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, we get all the characters. Nice. Again, we can get the status as well. We'll do status and we'll add the status as well. No, no, it's not status, it's state, I think. Oh no, it's status. What I want? Okay, so alive. <laughs> uh, let's do the hyphen here. All right. So now we have connected to a GraphQL API. We have queried, we have written one query uh, we can we can do other queries as well. We can do locations, location, and all that. So in the next lesson, we are going to do more queries and maybe do a mutation as well. So a query is getting data. Mutation is either updating or creating or deleting data. We'll do in the next lesson. We'll do a query and a mutation. All right. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what is whether I'm doing a good job or not. Have a good day. Bye.